hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will be adding the muzzle flash effect to our rifle so for that you can just go ahead and open up the asset store and search for this legacy particle pack which is from the unity technologies it is a free asset okay you can just simply add this to our asset and click on open in unity and then click on open unity editor and also I will be providing the same package right here so you can just go ahead and download this unity tech and in here you will find this package which is by the same name okay you will have to just simply unzip it using the winrar application and when you do that double click on it it will show up this window okay and this window will be also shown if you are adding it from the asset store as well okay so right here remove the ignite coder because we already have the ignite coder right here i don't know why it is showing that okay so if it is showing for you guys as well so just simply click on none and then click on unity technologies so that only this folder is imported so just simply click on import and as you can see it is imported so in here you will find the muzzle flash effect and also the blood effect which we will be adding on our zombie okay the blood effect is inside the blood folder and right here we have the muzzle flash effect so now what we can do is we need to add the muzzle flash effect so for that inside the player open up this g36 and play the game actually let's stop the game first of all and in here inside this acog game object we will create uh, actually not in here inside the g36 create a empty create a 3d object okay a cube in here and make the cube scale x as 0 0.1 then 0 0.01 and 0 0.01 okay in xyz just make it 0 0.01 and now if you click on this cube there it is then what you can do is drag and drop this cube inside the acog then let's go ahead and play the game and when you play the game here is our rifle let's point it in the forward direction like this then let me click on the windows button and when you click on the windows button it is now as you can see locked in that position now let's click on scene and in here you can click on cube now and as you can see here is the cube so what we can do now with this cube is to move it forward right here then in here okay make this cube in the same position as the bullet hole of this rifle okay so what i will do i will simply do that okay it will take some time i think because it is a little bit harder but you can do it in a fast way just as i did okay so it is i think in front of the bullet hole now if we move it inside as you can see it is in the perfect area okay so just make sure it is in front of that and now before stopping the game click on the cube and then click on uh, that three dots click on copy component okay let's copy it two times then let's stop the game click on cube as you can see it is right there so now if we click on this three dots again click on paste component values now as you can see it is right there okay so now we have a position what we can do now is open up this example uh, this example folder okay X effect example in here we have the muzzle flash so we can drag and drop this muzzle flash inside the g36 and then inside the acog and then click on cube click on cube and uh, copy its component once again click on muzzle flash effect click on these three dots and click on paste component values that is it if we play it as you can see it is playing in the same position now let's simply disable the cube because we don't want to see the cube 
and also let's make the start size of this muzzle flash effect as 15 okay it is looking good now if we play the game again as you can see here it is now if we click on the scene view okay as you can see the muzzle flash moves with the rifle okay as you can see if we move the rifle to that direction and let's check the scene view as you can see the muzzle flash is now in front of the bullet hole of the rifle as you can see so now the next thing which we will be doing is to play this muzzle flash effect whenever the player is shooting so for that open up the shooting controller script and right here what we will do we will create a reference to our muzzle flash effect so we will say particle system muzzle flash then if we scroll down to the shoot method right here so right here we will say muzzle flash dot play and that is it if we get back to unity click on player actually click on the g36 and drag and drop this in there okay and let's click on it and click on prefab unpack completely and also let me check the looping okay so the looping is uh, disabled make sure that it is disabled okay for this now if we play the game okay so now whenever we shoot you will notice that it will play this muzzle flash effect as you can see okay if you want you can uh, increase the size of the muzzle flash effect but i think for this rifle it is looking good okay but we can actually let's change it to 20 okay and i will leave this as 20 so now as you can see the muzzle flash effect is playing perfectly fine now in the next video we will be adding the sound effects to our rifle okay so with this done see you guys in the next one